if you see uh, the urine becoming pinkish, that might mean he has the start of a urinary tract infection. Don't panic, it happens sometimes. So um, when that starts to happen, you take this little container and you squeeze, I think it's like five drops, uh, three times a day, directly into the, oh, it's just directly into the mouth. I don't put it in the mouth, I put it in the food. Um, and I think it's like just a few drops. Um, yeah, five, five drops. Um, so I take five drops and I put it into food that he likes. Don't let him see you do it. He's a very smart cat. And if he thinks you're tampering with his food, he won't touch it, no matter how hungry he is. So when he's not looking, put it in some food that he likes and then put more food on top of it so he doesn't even get the taste of it. And if you do this three times a day, it will make the pink usually go away, um, which is great. You don't need to go and get antibiotics and it's just terrific. Um, there might also be, I have some treats I used to give him that were for urinary tract infection, urinary tract health, but then he seemed to not like eating them anymore. But you could also try those. I'll include, um, I'll include those. Those are, uh, well, I'm not sure where they are right at the moment. Um, I'll include this, but I've never actually given this to him. I, I got this for when we were taking him on planes. Um, it's supposed to be like a, um, a calming kind of drug-like thing. But I would say generally don't use this um, unless there's something really, you know, he's f totally freaked out. But I've, n I've never used it with him. So I would say uh, unless there's some crisis, uh, I'd rather not start something new with him. Um, and um, hmm, that's about it for the food.